Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to the messenger tonight. I feel like we're coming to the end of this. We've got so many little green power metal things. Uh, we've got like, what, three left, I think? Yeah, because there's 45 total. we got 42. But we're also still missing, looks like, one usable item and two of the music notes. Plus, we gotta go free our good buddy uh, Manfred. He's frozen in a block of ice, the glacial peak or whatever. So, uh... <laughs> We'll see what we can do about that. Uh, he is, in fact, mark on the map right there. Good. Um, we gotta figure out how to get get him free. Uh, feel like it involves some manner of heat or whatever. Uh, and also we gotta find the other three power metal things, which I don't think are listed here. All those are accounted for. We're missing, pro we're probably missing an area, like straight up missing an area. Which I would guess uh, is where Manfred is going to take us uh, once we get him free, but... Well, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, we know that... What's their nuts is going to go talk to this, this fucker here. Uh, wind chills the bones. A brave monk has a simple but important final role. Oh, okay, right. Okay. Right. Because we we freed her from the weird mushroom curse thing or whatever. And she's like, oh, fuck, I gotta go talk to the prophet. And then we came back here and he's like, oh, no, she's got to go do the thing up the mountain or something. So we may as well be uh, on our way up to the mountain. My presumption is that she's going to be waiting for us near Manfred, and then we can go take care of business. So let's see. Uh, yeah, I guess it's faster to do this. Well, oh, help, we. I was kind of hoping we could have. Uh, oh, jeez. All right. I was hoping we were going to get, like, a, a faster movement speed at some point, but that appears to not be the case. Oh, easy. Or maybe that's what our last item is going to be, too. Uh, okay, so where the fuck are we? Pretty much just got to fall down forever. Okay. Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Let's see ya. So let's go visit Manfred one more time. We'll see if, uh... See if that's where the weird, formerly Mushroom Monk is waiting for us. Oh, gee... <laughs> that shit. Uh, did we at least tag the checkpoint? Okay, we did. Good. Excellent. All right. So don't fall down forever. I guess is the. Uh... Is the lesson to be learned there? Okay, <laughs> I was like, hmm, perhaps not the best choice. Alright, it's fine. Right, we gotta be getting close, right? Yeah, alright, just like a little, little S-curve. We'll be there. Not like we need any of these time, cr <laughs> time crystals anymore. <laughs> Ah, that's better. Not like we need any of these time crystals anymore, but hell. Can't just leave them uncollected. That would be silly. There wasn't a quick shortcut there. Oh, ouch. Alright, should be just around the corner here. Okay, uh, there he is, but, uh... <laughs> Okay, hold up a second. Let's go into the past once, and we'll see what happens then. Ow, little shit. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's go into the past, because I don't remember if we fought a Mushroom Monk in the past or in the future. Let's 
see if Manfred's even in here in the past. I wouldn't I wouldn't guess so. It's like a 500, 500 years is a long time to be stuck in ice. Oh, well, hey, look at that. Okay, hey, can you give me the power of fire or something? A real shot of breaking the curse, yada yada yada, used to be a messenger, yup, 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 trap back to the past, resume and can travel in the future. Oh, that's right, you'll be needing this to save a friend. Ah, oh, sick, nice. Alright, just wanna break the 500 year ice, I guess. Alright. Good enough. Hey, look at that. Now we can get over here and beat the shit out this ice. And, oh boy. Manfred, I hope you got a parachute or something. Uh-oh. Uh. -oh. uh. <laughs> well, okay, I mean, it works. If it works, it works. <laughs> uh. Ready to go to the Elemental Skylands. Yeah, there we go. That's the one area we haven't been to, I suppose, huh? Hmm. I'm gonna lie, this is bad. What's going on? Looks like a demon king managed to corrupt the clockwork, co clockwork concierge. Big robot that tends to the place. He's a butler superstar. I can't wait to meet him. Anyways, he's... <laughs> Alright, <laughs> so he's invincible. Very good. Not being on each of this guy, so you can disable the shield generators together. We'll see how blah 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 blah. All right, and he's had mass checks to fire. You can also charge a big one. All right, cool. <laughs> Literally got a shmup in our plat action platformer Metroidvania. Love it. I guess we're over here. <laughs> Sick. Alright. Alright, actually, hold on a second. Let's see. One. Uh, two. And three. Alright, perfect. That's all of them that we care about. Oh, well. <laughs> Gonna try to hook onto that wall and see if we could see over there, but eh, whatever. It's fine. Assuming there's nothing over there. <laughs> Ow. Ow. What? What's that? What's that? What's this nuts leaving the screen there? Why did he hit me? Oh, those, those dudes look kind of orange and spherical, so I'm like, what the hell, Corbel? Piece of shit. Boy, that's a pretty fragile shield generator if you just need to give a little love tap to four orbs there. Not very well constructed. Ow. Ow. Oh, look at this. It's the path to the little thing. It surely is. Oh no, it's the exit. Oh no, no, oh, there we go. Got some op. <laughs> The fucking budget-ass Medusa distracted me there. Alright, well, they put me right here, so whatever. Ow. 
Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. There we go. First try. Pickup was. Yeah. Right, that's fine. Manfred could take it. The tough old dragon boy. Ow! Oh, you can get hit by the scenery, huh? one here as well? No, I gotta wait for the third one. Third and fourth ones. Hmm. Ah. There's a... Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Alright. There was a gap back there when we, uh, were in the past. Here we go. Ow. Let's head, head on back there and see what we see. Aha! Well, not terribly useful anymore, but, eh, nice to have. Sounds better. Oh, wait. I guess we need to be in the past. Uh, yeah, I guess. No other way up there, I guess. Hmm? Boo. down so we can jump up there. Oh, well, we gotta be over there anyways. Damn it. Gap on the top left there, but I don't think we can get up there. Alright, let's ride one more time.
<clears throat> Should be one of the green thingamadings here, yeah? Okay. Ow! Alright, what was it? Hold the R? Yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. Okay. Not what I expected to be over here. Oh, there's it's the exit all the way back over there. Alright, well. Backtrack a little bit. Easter egg. Uh, sure. We in the uh, area for a little Easter egg? Oop. Ah! <laughs> uh, well, good that Zap is back here anyway. Oh, let's see. Should have just gone straight over. Check the sink in the shop. Okay. Next time we are at the shop, we will do that. Oh, what is this going on here? Oh! <laughs> Oops, had a little forward momentum still. God damn it, pop me over here. Uh, okay. Well, next time we're at the shop. Sink, you say. Oh, we got an orb. That's cool. What's happening with the orb? Wait, you see something? Well, kind of. Oh. <laughs> I think it's across time and across space, too. In parallel universes, and huh? War amongst other things, one of the alternate timelines. The demon's about to win. That happens, those events could overwrite our own reality. How does that make sense? Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> in fact, for consistency over additional content, I suggest you leave the orb alone. Additional content sounds good. Then I suggest you do not leave the orb alone. <laughs> Uh, okay. Come back to the orb after we're done. Oh, there's a sink. Oh, look at that. Is that a sink? Yeah. I'm in an arcane shop in a sink. To wash your hands, probably. Oh. The money sink. I keep complaining about how there weren't any ways to spend time shards since you had all the upgrades and that we needed to fix this with a money sink. Ah. <laughs> Quite literally do that. Alright, how does it work? The moment it does it. Enters through too many time shards into the drain and now it's clogged. Anyway, to unclog it. No. Well, maybe. If you had a money wrench. <laughs> How can I find a money wrench by looking for it? Gee, thanks. Wow, great. So clogged. Need a money wrench. Alright. Suppose we could buy a money wrench from the shop. That would be silly. <laughs> Alright. We'll be on the lookout for a money wrench, then. 
and also to poke the orb every now and again for additional content. We still had some momentum after we bopped our head into that. Boo. Well. Ah. All right, just gotta make sure to kill our momentum before we do the next one. So, there we go. Oh, no! Ah, oh, we were too slow. <laughs> Damn it. Hmm. Painful to watch, Corbel. It's painful to, to do. Or have done to me, rather. I mean, I presume it was, anyways. I feel like getting crushed to death is a pretty bad way to go. Oh, oh boy. Okay. There we go. Alright, does that extend that? Oh, that does extend the entire way. Ugh. Okay. okay. Easy peasy. First try. Alright, one left. Then we can open the green chest of mystery and get like some. Cosmetic bauble or something, I'm gonna bet. Because they wouldn't give me anything like super powerful for expending all our time getting all 45 whatevers. Would they? I don't know. I wouldn't put it past this game to be like, hey, here's your here's your fancy hat or something. Instead of something actually useful. to the last one here. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, no! 
Oh, well. Oh, right. I can walk on the lava derp. I just need to hold the right trigger, right? Yeah. Oh. Just in case I fuck things up. Ready to save it. First. Oh, that's the actual thing of a ding, huh? Uh, hmm. Well, I guess we kind of want to do this, right? I want to backtrack here so I can get up here and get the thing, yeah? Maybe. Oh no, that other place is the actual thing for it. All right, never mind. Damn it! I figured the harder path was the was the critical path there, but I guess not. It's the actual thing of a ding. Closer. Oh, no, no, oh, fuck. <laughs> ah, well. Oh. Hmm, I might die here, huh? Don't! <laughs> alright, alright, we got it this time. timing and whatnot, huh? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, oh no! <laughs> okay, okay. We'll get it. Eventually. Of course, they make this the last one, so of course it's gonna be tough. I would've expected no less. Oh, I didn't get the health thing wherever it was. Oh well. Uh 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 Hey oh caught the bottom hair edge of that. Nice job. All right. All right. Well, that's uh, all 45. So <laughs> let's go open that chest. What's in that chest? What's in the chest? What's in the box? <laughs> the windmill shuriken. Avoid catching it to maximize duration. Oh, that's pretty sick. Uh, no, actually. Oh, fucking literally Ninja Gaiden shit. All right, very good. Sick. Oh, we only get three of those versus five of the others. Neat, though. I like it. Now, will we use it? Probably not, but it's nice to have. I promptly forget I have it? Almost certainly. But hey, we did it.
<laughs> All right, is this gonna be like a full-on shmup boss here? Please tell me it's a full-on shmup boss. This would be fun. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, why is he a proper gentleman robot? Like, excuse me. This doesn't seem good. Seems ill fit for a robot of the skies. But I guess concierge does make a lot of sense in that context, doesn't it? if they put a boss like this in here. Like, come on. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> See you in hell, con clockwork concierge. Oh, he's fine. No, it's fine. We destroyed the evil virus or whatever that was infecting him or something, right? Who are you people and where's my hose? What hose? <laughs> See if you had a demon spell. Ah, oh, if you rude me, I'll let you do it. Okay, okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, gimme. Give gimme give mu magic music note, perhaps? And uh, should get bounce and uh, kind of a very unique piece. Now it's a demon that has been like, yeah, for two. Alright, cool. Hell yeah! I don't like that it's coming out his butt area, but, eh, whatever. This little butt panel opened it up and conveyed a music note to us, so whatever. Clink. <laughs> core. Yeah, his core, right? Uh, Sinjur is perfect harmony with the elements, one of the notes needed, blah 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 blah. Okay. Cool. Uh. I wanted to be a butler. You're his hero. <laughs> hey, not cool, man. <laughs> Manfred. Manfred, oh, yeah, I believe that will do. Really? Yes, you're the perfect name for an apprentice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> cool. Great. We we helped a sky dragon snake thing fulfill his dream of being a butler's apprentice or something. That's funny. That's funny as hell. Alright, well, we got one left. One note left. I don't know where that's gonna be necessarily, but we're gonna have to find it. <laughs> Quite the adventure. Totally worth a second playthrough if you ask me a G hinted. Get back, see ya. Alright. Okay, cool. Well, hmm. Well, I guess let's head back and deposit that note and see what to. Uh... Oopsie. See what they've got to say to me, I guess. Maybe they'll be like, oh yeah, we suddenly remembered part of the prophecy or whatever. And I'll be like, yeah, just thanks. Couldn't have told me that earlier? And they'll be like, no, sorry, we forgot. And be like, alright, fine, whatever. Uh, oh, there's a thing down there. Did I totally. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, let's deposit this sucker. All right, here you go. Hey, don't ask where I got this one from. In the power of a regal demon relic, the artificer shall send the messenger the very future he means to prevent. Artificer. Oh, right, that's the other. It's the short stack uh, robe dude, right?
All right, let's go visit Short Stack there. See what he's got to say. Hmm. Oh, is there a wrench here? Have to have a money wrench? Yeah. Can I borrow your money wrench? Oh, come on. <laughs> 3,963 time shards. But that's all the time shards I've got! <laughs> Alright, fine. Well, okay. Our, the main adventure can wait. Let's go unclog this money sink. <laughs> uh, incredible. Waste more time shards. Oh, okay. Alright. Cool. What? 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 Oh, sorry. What? Are we going into the sink? What the fuck? Oh no! <laughs> uh. Okay. All right. All right. What do we got? Where are you? I thought there were only three blue rows. Ah, it's really just down three, huh? <laughs> Craftsman's corner. Okay. Iron hood. Blah 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 blah. Uh huh? All right. Creation fully equipped with all of them. Oh, he's the one that made all the shit we're using, huh? Nice. Okay, I think climbing claws are pretty good, yeah. Uh, spider hair is a good idea, huh? There's not a vacation, blah blah blah. Okay, toys, yada yada, sell toys. Uh, okay. Oh god, that's all very expensive. Excuse me. I just paid all my money to buy the wrench to get down here. Oh, 2,000 a piece! Oh shit. Alright, well, I guess we got something to work for. Alright. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though. Alright, well, that was a fun side lark, I guess. Um, now we actually gotta go talk to him and see, like, hey, you send me to the future or whatever. <clears throat> uh, no, I don't want to. No, no, artificer. Uh, you're not the artificer? Well, which one are you? Iron Hood is down in the sink. Prophet is guarding the music notes. Is the shopkeeper, the artificer, dude? Uh. Regal demon relic. Regal demon relic. Artificer should send them an artificer. Where's the artificer? Regal demon relic. Oh, the 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 demon king's crown. We got that, right? <laughs> but we don't have any time shards because we just bought the money wrench. All right, Artificer. Which one was the Artificer? Uh... Was one of the... one of the... the, the Builder dudes? Maybe? No... Artificer, Artificer, Artificer. Hmm. Let's have a think about that one. It's not the Prophet, clearly. It's not the Shopkeeper, we just talked to him. It's not Short Stack over there, we just got the money wrench from him. It's not the dude down in the... Plumbing basement. <clears throat> he makes toys now. It's gotta be something out in the world then. Hmm. Yeah, see, I thought it was short stack as well. Like, the artifice. So, like, each of these blue idiots has a title, right? The prophet, the shopkeeper, I guess, and the artificer. I thought it was short stack too, right? Do we have to just talk to him again? Uh, no, I don't want to try your Tower of Time challenge. I want to- oh, oh, here, how about this very crown-shaped hole? Come on. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh. Hilarious. Okay. Stare back at the abyss? Hell yeah, there's nothing I like more than staring into the abyss. Oh, whoa, gross. Uh, I take it back. I do not want to stare into the abyss. Yeesh. Okay. Hmm. Gross. This is... Ugh. I don't know if I like this. This is creepy as hell. It's what it is. Sick jams, though. At least we got that going for us. Alright, there's 
not. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, well, map doesn't really do us any good, does it? Looking at the abyss. Yeah, I'll look around to see if there's anything special here. Clearly. <laughs> it's the slowest fucking moving trap I've ever seen. Good job. You did it. You almost got me. Uh, it's funny as hell. Oh no. Well, that one's slightly faster. gonna go down to the- oh, I figured that one's gonna go down to the slow-ass trap. Guess not. Oop. Yeah, Alright. cool. I like it, but it's creepy as hell. Secret secret there. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> really? Huh, interesting. Hey Mega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see ya. You did miss the uh, green medallion thing. Uh, we picked up a fancy ass shuriken. We'll, we'll, we'll use it so you can see what it is. It's not anything spectacular, I don't think, but, you know, it's... It's neat, I guess. It's something. It's something of perhaps some value, but it's not, like, incredible break the game wide open. Whoa, Jesus Christ! Uh... Oh. Oh, jeez! <laughs> okay. No, fuck this. Fuck, we out. Fuck this shit, we out. Uh, now all those, uh... All those hooks make sense. <laughs> uh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, well, uh-oh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh -huh. That makes a lot of sense there, I guess, now, huh? Uh. Get. <laughs> ah, of course, then he gets a little speed boost. Because, <laughs> of course, he does. Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> Uh, oh wait, I should be using my fancy ass shuriken for this now, shouldn't I? Oh! Man, any bop back and you are F-U-K-T fucked! Alright. Oh, 
Oh, right. Yeah, I can do that, can't I? Oh, and we can do the little fireflies, too. Oh, that makes it a lot easier. <laughs> ah! <laughs> or I'll just fucking run right off the edge, too. That's cool. Good job. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> mm. Guess this is a, a fresh take on the escape sequence, huh? Kind of gross, but yeah. Can't argue that it's uh, motivating. Oh, crap. <laughs> I mean, at the very least, we're getting time shards out of this, because Corbel just fucks off immediately. Oh, God! Does his job, and he's like, ah, oh, shit, I'm out of here, man. Ah, oh, fucking... <laughs> seen rubber banding this bad since Mario Kart. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Uh, 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 ah! <laughs> Zero X. <laughs> yeah, F Zero X is pretty bad at that, wasn't it? Or maybe I'm thinking of G. I think GX is somehow worse. I think F Zero X, like once you got ahead by a significant amount, you were golden. But I think GX was stronger. Had newer rubber. Oh crap! Ugh. Was GX actually better? Weird. I don't know. I've played more GX than I have. Just natural OGX. So I'll trust you on that. One. I suppose they had to put all of their, uh... Oh, for God's sake. They had to put all of their technical know-how into getting it to render at 30 frames and or generating random-ass courses. They couldn't do as much with the rubber banding. <laughs> Was it 60 frames? Did they really manage 60 frames? I feel like they did. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I guess it is pretty smooth. Every time- oh, Jesus Christ. Every time I've seen you play- I know! <laughs> it has seemed pretty smooth. So yeah, I guess 60 frames. Yeah. All right, we, we maybe got to stop fucking around here and actually pass this thing.
Eh? Eh, he's not getting closer. Oh, he's getting a little closer. Fuck you out! <laughs> uh, whew. Oh, the ghost one. <laughs> Fine, an abomination and the last note. Sick! <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I'm glad they were putting down menial task bets on my survival. Thanks. A-holes. <laughs> Alright, but we did it. We got the last note. Now we can lift the curse, prevent the future, I don't know, whatever. Something like that. <clears throat> What's next? I don't know. <laughs> uh, first of all, I'm to share with you the origins of the curse. Be right back. <laughs> Damn it, of course it's the shopkeeper. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, <clears throat> you, do you know what to do next? No, but... Alright. You were saying my shop didn't look like a shop. <laughs> they have to show you the place. They said it didn't look like a shop. I've been bitter all this time, I'm just trying to do the small talk. <laughs> uh, Alright, fine, tell me what the fuck's going on. You gonna tell me another story? I could use another story. Let's go. Civilization of giants lived in the clouds, protecting the world from unknown forces. Alright, here's our lore dump, I guess, right? We did all the hard work. Now we get to sit back and watch. Entry didn't find harmony until one day they watched helplessly as the world suffered a massive flood. What do you mean helplessly? They were giants protecting the world. Why didn't they do something about it? Little shits? Only a single piece of land remained. Yeah, there we go. We're looking at it. We were adapted to humanity gathered survivors and built a huge temple where they would try to find new meaning. Okay. You gotta do something when you're surrounded by water, I guess. During the call of these troubled times, a formidable couple stepped up to be their leaders. Okay. I mean, they got a single-ass island to lead, but hey, you, know, you have what you have. A beautiful voice and an otherworldly ability to create mesmerizing trinkets. Everyone called her mutes. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, come on, don't tell me that's the shopkeeper there in the fucking robes. He ever so fearless and mysterious become known as Phantom. Okay. Yeah. Phantom's a pretty sick name, I, I won't argue. After a decade of relative stability, the skies began flashing red as if a war was being waged against the Sky Giants. Against the Sky Giants? Who the fuck would be waging war? And why couldn't they just smack them down, being giants and all? Oh, Jesus, shit. Alright. The Inari of Demons, Destroyers of Worlds, had found the human realm. Well, fuck. Who the hell told them? Smell an inside job. Humanity's protector soon to be extinct. Muse and Phantom inspired everyone to prepare for the inevitable onslaught. Human army is too strong. The temple was lost and Muse was killed while trying to protect her people. Oof. That's rough. It's a rough go of things right there. <clears throat> and Tears Phantom picked up her final creation to keep us a memento. A music box. Ah, okay. In the Temple of the Demon King, you know, the last survivors is raced to the western edge of the island. Ah, well, there's the ninja village, right? Okay, it's all coming together. Don't tell me that old geezer is the Phantom, though. Like, he... The Phantom is way too cool to be that old dude. I will stand proved successful after instructing these people to rebuild and stay hidden. Phantom pushed his luck. Oh, of course he would. Okay. Well, what did he do? Oh, no, it's looking like it is the old dude. Fuck. Okay, no, it's just got a cravat thing. Looked like a beard at first. I have a rage, he darted towards the temple in a foolish attempt to take down the Demon King. Oh, okay, well, good try. I mean, we 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 took care of it, so it's all it's all good, but... I mean, maybe he did it good, who knows. Followed by the boldness of the broken being, the Demon King opted for a punishment worse than death. Oh yeah? What's that? 
Everybody always talks about the punishment worse than death, but we never actually know what it is. Oh no, did he did he become what's his nuts? The the Elzebub looking motherfucker? I think it's Los Memento with Demon Magic turned Fantasy Music Box into a tether to the human realm. Uh okay. Every 500 years, they would come back to torture humanity until they abandoned all hope and surrender to extinction. Well, guess what? That fucking didn't happen. Humanity's persisting somehow. And it's really more... more appropriate of a story for nowadays, isn't it? And it's forced to wear a cursed mask or to steal his mind and keep him in a state of perpetual distress. Oh boy, I know that feel. Maybe even without a mask. Insert into the music box, he would play the organ forever to keep the relic's magic alive. Well, hey, okay, he's got a purpose at least, right? Not all bad. As a mental and physical prison, he would be the one to ensure the curse on his legacy was maintained. Ugh. I don't like how this is shaken out. Ah, uh, Phantom, Organ, Phantom of the Opera, I get I get it, okay, alright. As well as a strong on offering lapses of sanity where he would tap or he could tap into his growing understanding of demon magic. Okay. Alright. Alright. I'd get rid of the curse of the last century, so his people would need the ability to cooperate across generations. Since time travel, five hundred years, future past, etc. Okay, okay. Starting to tie this tie this all together like a good rug. Time travel, of course. Time travel is always the key. The last stretch of sanity wrote a scroll, imbuing it with enough power to attune its carrier to time magic. Let me guess. Are we gonna get a title drop in here too? The messenger? Come on, come on. I know I'm calling this out a little early, but eh, oh, not yet. We're losing his mind completely. He teleported his final hope, the scroll to his people's hideout. The scroll, you say, huh? All right. <clears throat> They soon realized the scroll let them see strange manifestations, things not every mind could stand. Oh boy. Getting uh, shades of eternal darkness in here, too. Also, that dude's mask looks a lot like Leonardo's mask. You know, TMNT type shit. <clears throat> Only a few brave adventurers had a strong enough will to carry the scroll. They called them messengers. Ha! Huh. Alright, there we go. Shit, we got... I, I recognize Thor, I think. And, whoa, weird cyborg thing on the right there. Archer got a monk. I missed whatever the first one was. Messengers from all the time periods would soon gather there. The perfect meeting point for an endless. I missed that last little tiny paragraph there because I was talking about Leonardo. <laughs> That's right. I'm sure it wasn't important. As it turned out, meeting denizens of the future, even one's alternate self, could be troubling for some. Well, damn right it would be troubling. Fuck. Like, shit, that would be kind of wild if you meet your future past self or whatever. Like, oof. I don't know, man. There are a few incidents of more primitive messengers going into shock. They have to conceal their appearance. Ah, okay. Hence all the robes and shit, I guess, huh? Tower of Time. Alright, alright, okay. So the Order of the Blue Robes was found. Together they built their headquarters. Tower of Time. Ha, ah, called it. This is a long-ass lore drop. Good lord. <clears throat> Every curse cycle would have its champion who would join the order after passing the scroll to the next messenger. Hey, that's what I was supposed to do! I passed it to What's-His-Nuts with the SMG or whatever, and then he promptly died and... Shopkeeper dude was like, oh fuck! Did he show up yet? Did Corbel show up yet? And he's like, no. And he's like, oh fuck. So you gotta keep going. The support of the blue robes after many cycles of music box was reclaimed from the Forlorn Temple. Even though the relic was too powerful to be destroyed, a new hope was found that day. Okay, well, I'm guessing that leads up to present time. Well, present plus 500 years, I guess, right? Jeez, this is a very, very long arc of a time travel story. Serious forces of the world started materializing in the form of magical music notes. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, I'm, I'm on board with this. And for one particularly gifted messenger, haha. <laughs> <laughs> managed to gather two of them. An idea emerged- Oh, the two of them. The two of them we had at the start. An idea crazy enough that it might it just might work. <clears throat> if they created a melody strong enough to breach the music box to protection spell, maybe a messenger could enter it and rescue Phantom. I thought Phantom went 
totally crazy. Th wasn't that, like, earlier in the lore? He just kind of, like, used the last of his sanity to make the scroll or whatever? Well, whatever, okay. There's the big lore drop. There you have it. I'm not sure that you will find what you will find inside the music box. If we have one shot at saving fandom, this is it. Fuck, it's such a sick ass name, too. Be on your guard. His mind will have conjured all sorts of traps. All sorts of tarps. Good luck out there. Or in there, as the case may be, right? Uh, I guess this is what this has been all leading up to. What, with our sick ass cape and hat and sword? Yeah, let's go. We're ready. We're ready for it. Oh, sick. Alright. Fantastic voyage-ass shit into the music box. Let's go. Oh, sick. Alright, let's go. We get a map? We do get a map, at least. Oh yeah, this is good. This is good jams. Real good jams. Holy shit. Fucking sick as hell. Ah. Ah. Alright, well, whatever. Power through. <laughs> Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I guess not having the normal shurikens there. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, die! <laughs> oh, hey, at least Corval's with us. Good on him. Ah, damn it. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Okay, we're just feeling it out, it's fine. Ah! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's already open. Very good. Oh, hey, easy. That's what caught us last time. <laughs> oh, this is super sick. I love it. Ah! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, we gotta start. Damn it. We gotta start all the way back. Son of a bitch. Alright, it's fine. We got it. We got it this time. Now that we know what's coming. That's, that's curious. Some of these are already open, some of them are not. Fucking synth base up in here. That's when you know it's getting real. Oh, easy. There, there's a checkpoint. Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, easy. Alright, here we go. First try. <laughs> oh, oh, we get a little higher. Do a little. Be a little spook there. I 
I guess now, since we have uh, something to put our money towards, worth doing, huh? Even if it is like little trinkety shit. Yeah, like that skelebird up there, old fucker. Yeah, let's see what you're trying to do. Oh, fudge. <laughs> ah. Oh shit! <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> Alright, that one's on me. I totally fucked that one up myself. Can't even blame nothing else for that one. Ow! Oh, I see. It recharges. That's interesting. Not noticed that. Oh, oh, easy. Ah. Oh, mm, okay. All right. Wait it out. It's fine. Easy. First try. <laughs> oh, oh, geez. Okay. Didn't see that thing across the top. Oh, come on. Why do they gotta do that? Alright, I'm going for it. <laughs> net gain of one. Ah, uh, well, not net gain of zero. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Oh, well, alright. Ow! Oh. God! Ah, <laughs> hmm. uh, see, even Quarble is in our corner now. Ah, oh, he's... What a pal. What a bro. Oh! Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, um, okay. <laughs> it's like, uh... Yeah. All right. Fuck it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Don't do it. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Ah, it wasn't health. You bitches. <laughs> I 
Uh-huh. Oh, yeah? Aha! <laughs> what in one way to do that, shitheads? <laughs> oh. Mm. Alright, there we go. Open for some health there. Oh, easy. All right, wait, hold on a sec. Can we actually go to the shop here? Oh, okay, well, what's he got to say? What's this thing I have to say? Nothing, all right. What's he got to say? He's like, oh, don't, don't shouldn't you be doing something? Oh, hey, yeah, current area, yeah. Well, this is it. I chance to take care of any unfinished business for the big end, bro. It's a frog's ass water. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, excuse me. Is it frog's ass water tight? <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, yes? <laughs> That's great. Uh, I'm gonna say yes, it is, but I don't know, man. I'm not a biologist. Or a zoologist. I guess a zoologist would be able to answer that better, huh? Any stories? How about one final story? Yeah, there we go. Once was a little boy stuck in a well. The end. Oh. Wasn't really clear why he was in there. He assumed he felt he was playing while he was playing or that someone had pushed him. In truth, he had jumped in there himself. Spent years in the well, wasting away anxiously, feeling utterly inadequate. Uh, okay. That's a little too close to home, but alright. He had a deep desire to share his ideas with the world, but shame having played such a big part in his upbringing, his will lay broken. Oof. Yeesh. That's why the well suited him so perfectly. A place to hide where he could be alone with his stories, no one to mock or judge him. Safe life, unfortunately devoid of purpose, but at least shielded from rejection. Oh boy. Wow. Wow, okay, this story is pulling out all the stops, isn't it? One day he was role-playing, a wanderer passed by and looked down the well. Hey, what's going on down there? He asked curiously, intent on joining in on the pond. Oh, nothing, sorry about the noise. Thus, the well remained silent for weeks. Wanderer, patient and compassionate, sat by the well for all that time. His mind was already made up. Do whatever it took to get that little boy out of there so he could share his stories with the world. Aw, oh, that's very sweet. Here to flame that little boy's heart refused to die and eventually started role-playing again. So the Wanderer very cautiously started interacting with him again, telling him that his stories were entertaining, nothing to be ashamed of. <coughs> Friendship built really slowly, built on genuine intentions and trust. A few months later, the Wanderer and the little boy were sitting together in the well, laughing and sharing stories. Of being an increasingly habit habitable place. A well? Really? Like, I feel like it would be a very narrow space. I think that boy wasn't claustrophobic. Passersby, passersby started looking in. I think I'm not the only one who would like to hear your stories, Wander Muse, one day. I'm too afraid to climb out. It's okay. Let me know when you're ready. Years past, the little boy's imagination became more focused, his thoughts and stories shape, shaping into a concrete little world. Then one day, he decided to take the chance. He'd build this world to show it to everyone. Wander helped him climb out. Merci, Philip. Uh. Uh. Wait, what, what the fuck? <laughs> a little boy shares his ideas with the creators of all crafts and is surprised they wanted to help building it. So the small team was put together and he officially became a writer. So I could tell you it all ended in fame and fortune, but I trust you understand it's not that it's not what this whole journey has ever been about anyway. <clears throat> see, see oh, I see. Ah, uh, oh I get it. Thank you, thank you to all these people, right? Here's the special special thanks, right? Ah, oh, that's clever. I like that. I like that. I like that. Kind of poignant, you know? You know, we, we we joke around a lot here, but that was kind of poignant. I like that. Very good. Very good. Very good. Back to the sick-ass jam. Oh. Mm. Oh, oh boy. Real quick on that one. Oh, oh, whoa, shit, okay, easy. Ah, oh, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Sometimes we're serious. Sometimes we're discussing water-type frog <laughs> Come on, man. 
All right, yeah, I guess the serious moment is over, huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <clears throat> oh, nice. Yeah, there we go. Just gonna skip that one real quick. I guess that was worth all the 45 uh, power medallion things to do that little skip there. Now that we know it can go through walls and shit. Ow! It was just a little predictable. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, jeez. Really get a good head of steam going there. Checkpoint just in case. Just in case we fuck up the next bit. Which, I don't know, it's not- Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay. Alright, very good. Oh, alright. Oh. Oh, okay, alright. Uh, oh, I see. here on our way, huh? health refill there. That's right. I'm sure we'll be fine till the next checkpoint. <coughs> hey, look at that. Next checkpoint.
Ah, well, son of a... Shit. <laughs> Take my vengeance there. Oh, oh, music fade out. Shit's gonna get serious though. The Phantom of the Opera is out. This <laughs> <clears throat> must be having visions again. Uh, no, I'm a messenger. Okay, you know our tensions matter little. If you tune must be played, it was faded. Where are you? Did you get my message? I did! In fact, I did. I am the messenger. I have received your message. Yes. Let's go with yes. There you trespass here. Here to help. You've been cursed. <gasps> cursed? It's all true then, isn't it? All of it. You can end this now. Remove the mask. Ostrich, I shall make short work of you. Alright, well, if we're gonna have a little, little fight here, this looks like a big ass fight arena. Let's do it. Who's it been? Someone really get my message? I said yes! Like, yes. <laughs> we fan of it took centuries, and humanity never gave up on you. Uh, science, I'm here to set you free. I have none of it. Prepare to die. Alright, well... You know, if one of us has gotta die, sorry buddy, but it's gonna be you. Oh yeah, okay, alright. Do the whole... Ah, oh, ouch. <laughs> I'm gonna do the whole again and beat shit back and forth, huh? Oh, oh, uh, mm. oh, I see. That's not terribly <laughs> threatening, let's be honest. Oh, right. Contact damage? Come on, that's not fair. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, geez, it's fucking Contra 3, level 3 all over again. Ah, alright, fine. Whatever. I probably just power through it regardless, huh? Ah, okay, I missed. I fucked up on that one. Oh, ow. Oh, I see. Oh, I got shit at the top, too. Alright, careful. Everything have lasers. Why don't I get lasers? Like, come on. I'm the one doing all the work here. Why don't I get lasers? All I got is a sword. Oh, they got lasers on the left and right, too? Ah, they got all their bases covered. Ah, uh, no, don't do it. Ah. There's so many of them. Which one's the real one? Boy, I wonder. <laughs> what a hell of a volley. Ah, damn it. <laughs> oh no, lasers again. 
Yeah. Oh, oh no. Ah, oh, fine. All right, I'll eat that one. It's fine. Ah. Oh, uh, oh, they inverted it this time. Clever. Clever. Hey, fuck you. See, you take off your mask voluntarily, I'll remove it from you. You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> I'm sure he's fine. Just having a little snooze, right? Yeah, see, look at that. He's up on his feet. Like nothing ever happened. <laughs> ah, shit, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, exactly. Let's go. Hurry. Everybody out. Shopkeeper doesn't get out there. Oh, his name is the shopkeeper, huh? That's weird. Ah, see? Everybody's fine. Gang's all here. <laughs> Try the Tower of Time. <laughs> fucking, fucking short stack. Just telling everybody about his Tower of Time. Oof. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't worry, buddy, we're here. Oh, shit. Uh, what's the opposite of mode seven? Because I think it's here. <clears throat> Even the curse's power contained. How do we stop it? We don't. Full force has been unleashed. You're fools, blah, 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 blah. Curse grew in power, blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what? No, fucking, what kind of loser talk is that? We're not giving up here. Exactly. See, short stack's got the right idea. I have to do the thing. Ah, I see. Attuned to the scrolls, so we should all be able to do the thing. <laughs> Alright, yeah, fusion ha! <laughs> I mean, we got double the amount of people doing the thing, I think we can do the thing, right? Hell yeah. Oh, this is gonna be fucking gigantic rock'em sock'em robots now? Let's go. Hell yeah. <laughs> no! No! Fuck you! This is gonna be a battle of mashing, I'm gonna fucking win you, loser! Boom! Eat shit. Alright, Super FX chip called and wants his polygons back. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, that's definitely not the actual real ending, right? Because that was kind of, uh... All right, all right. You know, g good job, everybody. You did a fucking good... You, get, you did a good game. But uh, that was a little bit anticlimactic, so we're going to just you know, skip ahead a little bit. And, uh, okay, and there's all special thanks. Good job, good job. Every good, good job, everybody. You did it. Thank you, etc. Not to downplay your contributions or anything, but we got a game to finish. Like, an actual game. Come on. Like, you can't do, like, a five-minute lore drop and then have it all come down to a mashing. A button mashing. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> As it shattered into pieces and humanity is finally rid of the demon curse. No, that's not the end of the story. The end. Talk about a long story. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, can't afford any upgrades at the moment. Well, do you have any other stories? Of course, here's one. Oh my god, all right. <laughs> all right. Good misdirect. Very, very good job. Oh, don't even. Don't even pull that shit. Come on. Yeah, the dot, dot, dot. All right. You know what? That's slightly better than a the end question mark, at the very least. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> New game plus, huh? All right, I guess we're going right into it, huh? Fucking, and we still got a little space in the top right corner there. What's the deal with that?
Oh, shit. No. New, we want a new game plus. That's just not gonna cont Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, Alright. Alright, new game plus then, huh? Hmm. The game plus one is additive. Every additional cycle increases difficulty, but also allows you to pick up an additional item to be available from the start. Select the one you want to add at this run. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So they give you... you get one of these, huh? What the fuck? Uh... Um... Power pistol, I guess? I, I don't know, like, um... That feels like a pretty hard cut. Oh, uh, where's the plus? Damn it. I was gonna put a plus on there just to signify it. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, really? This is what New Game Plus is, huh? It's just gonna drop us back here. Oh, I saw our little flash like we still had our, our thing. <laughs> Still had our little, little power slash, right? Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay. We've got all our health. We've got all our extra juice there. And we've got all the things. Oh, I see. Because the power thistle is... And one of the little key items, right? But we've got everything else going on here. Got our claws. We've got our... Oh, do we not have the... Oh. No, we do have the 45 green things, right? Uh, okay. Oh, there's Corval. Uh, Corval? How you doing? New game, plus one. I hope you're ready for a challenge. All incoming damage increased plus one. Ah, oh, that's no big deal. Boss's hit points increased plus five. You'll need to pay 50 time shards up front for me to save you, otherwise it's- Oh, damn! Fucking mercenary. Uh... Huh. Um... Okay! Hmm... Oh shit, does that mean we actually have to get good? That's not great. I don't like that. Hmm... Guess what, I'm not the last one here. I guess I am the last one here. Okay, blah blah blah, demon army, yada yada yada, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, oh shit, everything's on fire. Western hero's not here, everybody gets wrecked. By the way, I've got some tea leaves for you, here. Okay, well, never mind, alright, it's fine. What do you mean I'm not ready? Like, I fought this fucker before, we're ready. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Fucking red-tailed hawk scream, of course. <laughs> Western Hero's a little late, as he always is. I I could have I could have done that. <laughs> I got a little juice from something. That's funny. Uh huh. Uh huh. Autumn Hills. Yada yada. All right. Well, whatever. Like fucking. Like by the way, congrats on showing up late again, Western Hero. You dipshit. Yeah, exactly. Way too late. <sighs> Alright, whatever. Like, okay, is this really just, like, straight up just play through the game again? Like, I expected perhaps something a little bit different. But alright, let's get to the shop at least, right? So we can be all smarmy with the shopkeeper and be like, hey, fucko, we know you. Come on, man. No, you're talking about a wizard. The Western hero is not a wizard. He was late. He was fucking late. Don't even try that. <laughs> he even admitted it! He even admitted to it that he was fucking late. What a shit. Okay, well, he still only did one damage there, but I guess that's because of the whole... Reduce damage by one thing we got going on, right? But 
Oh, yeah. Alright. Alright, we can go bother him down here, I think. Oh, by the way, here, have these claws. Oh, wait, you have the claws already? Also, I want this. Thank you. Yoink. Oh, they don't let me interact with the orb this time. Hey, buddy. Uh, let's chat it up. Climbing claws. I've already got them. John Guiden, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> <That's funny. coughs> something something shop, etc, etc. Oh, I can interact with the sink. That's weird. Let's go spend our hard-earned 47 time crystals, which isn't going to be enough to buy anything. All right. What about the cabinet? Is he going to let me touch the cabinet? No? Fuck it. Alright, well, knowing that then, hold up a second. Let's go back to our other file. <clears throat> hmm, I see. So you just kind of keep looping and doing the shit, huh? Yeah, alright, so now it's got like a very neon sign pointing to it, being like, hey, blah 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 blah. Alternate timeline Pumpkins have been kidnapped to save the day messengers needed in the tropics. <laughs> the messenger picnic panic. Uh okay. Uh alright, here here we go. Oh wait, what's short stack got to say? Is there egg? There's a portal to another dimension. Well hey, yeah, look at that. <clears throat> I'm supposed to be the one opening portal. It's telling you it's fine. It's the messenger leaving after a side. Hell yeah, side adventure, let's go. Extra content. You think you will do the thing? I don't know. Not a real adventure if you don't do the thing. It's a quick trip to the dimension where Voodkin has never merged with our mainland. I'm sure nothing of note will happen. You do the thing. I want to be there. Fine. Whatever. Sick. I'll be in my life. Ah, short stack. Yeah, short stack. Can you just come on? Get on out of here so we can go through the thing. <coughs> So I wish someone said Godspeed, Artificer. Come on, we're trying. <laughs> You're the prophet. Wait, wait, don't. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> don't speak his name, because then he appears. He's like, ah, oh, shit. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Godspeed, Artificer, just this one. Please. Sorry, what? Can we just get on? <laughs> get on with this? Let's go, messenger. Don't forget you are entering an alternate reality, which you must prevent at all costs. I will handle these two. All right. See ya. Good luck with whatever you got going on there. Fucking hell. What a timeline. Oh, is this gonna be the beach episode? Let's go. Far off the coast of Messenger Island. <laughs> oh my god, this is a beach episode, isn't it? Sunshine bright on tropical Voodkin Island. Blah blah blah. blah having a picnic. Okay. As fate would have it, Demon General Barmathazal, this Thazel, Barmathazel, whatever, appeared out of nowhere to cause quite the panic. Hence, picnic panic. Hostages deep into Voodkin Island's deadly jungle used them for an evil ritual, and also eat all their food. Because he's a shithead like that. Only one hero could travel across dimensions to rescue the blah 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 and for, for, foil his plan. Alright, very good. I guess I'll go do that. Since apparently everybody else is busy, I'll be the one to do it. <laughs> Unless, of course, it was all a tarp. Oh no. Was it a tarp? It was a tarp. It was totally a tarp, wasn't it? Okay. Alright, we get it. Dude's evil, stole all the picnic shit, and took hostages and whatever. I'm, I'm sensing an Adventure Island type thing going on here. <coughs> adventure Eller is teleported here, but I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Go to the left. I guess I'm part of the clan. Listen, I might be old and I'll take more than the costume to fool me. I remember every single student. Yeah, every single student that looks the same, by the way, because we're all wearing the exact same shit. Except I'm wearing blue and they're all wearing some shade of purple. Are you a ninja? You talking to yourself? Are you even cloud step? Hell yeah, I cloud step. All day long. And hey, look, and since the scroll's power to me, this time is probably better spent helping rather than questioning. Hell yeah. Fucking let's go. Very tall and apparently evil being came in peace to wait at the docks for the messenger, said he had a mutually beneficial offer for him. <clears throat> Head for the docks, okay. I don't need to wear a disguise next time. What do you mean disguise? This is the only clothes I've got. Fuck you, man. Also, the docks are probably to the left, right? I feel like they're to the left. 
probably to the left. Yeah, see, look at that. I was right. Finally. Finally, an adventure begins where we run to the left. Jesus. It's Ruxton! What's Ruxton doing here? Uh, Ruxton. Dude, that cape is like fucking three sizes too big for you. Can't believe you're not tripping all over it every day. All day, every day. Yeah, dude. Get, get. Alright. <laughs> Alright, the speech is not gonna hit the same when you're on those goof-ass stilts, man. Alright, whatever though. The messenger seeks the aid of Ruxton the Great. Okay, I, yeah, alright. Well, aren't you trying to get to Voodkin? I, I guess? Yeah, sure. Hey, uh-huh, uh-huh. The messenger captured, I suppose you'll get there. I don't know, like... Oh yeah, Manfred! Manfred would be like the perfect choice. Like, what do we want with a rickety-ass boat when Manfred could just fly us? We're in an internship, the clock, or a concierge, it's not with buddies. How the fuck do you know about that, Ruxton? Weren't you, like, fucked off for the 80% of the game last time? Alright, something something, Bob, before my height. Oh, jeez. Alright, okay. Thank thank you, uh, Random Tentacle, for clearing that up for us. <clears throat> uh, look, I have a date tomorrow. Can you help me get my stilts back? No. Take you to Vukin Island afterwards, I promise. Wait, what? Excuse me. I just want to go to the island and have our beach episode. What the fuck, man? I gotta go get some stilts? What is this Castlevania 2 ass bullshit crossing the river sticks or whatever? Oh my god, it's fucking TMNT4. What the fuck? Uh, sure, yeah, how do we surf? There's a surfing avoid rocks. Alright, okay. Fuck's sake. Oh, you gotta jump with A, right? And then we double jump to avoid the, the puffer fish, right? Eh? Oh, okay, now we can jump on the puffer fish, because of course we can. Alright. Necro boost. Which has no cost or cooldown. Let's actually use necro boost. Hell yeah, let's fucking jam that shit. <clears throat> Maintain when it feeds off enemies or debris. Alright. Let's go, yeah. <laughs> Oh, but keep going. If you hit a rock, yeah, go up. There you go. Alright. Getting shades of narc in here, too. Don't forget to avoid rocks and keep feeding the necro boost. You want to maximize speed. That about covers it. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking wild shit. Alright. Oh, yeah, look out for that. Oh. Hell yeah, look at that bounce ass combo. Oh yeah, get going. Oh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> what is this fucking TMNT bullshit right here? Come on. Yeah, just... How many fucking different games are they gonna put in this? I love it. I kinda love it, actually. Oh, should've gone put down for the golden puffer fish or whatever. Hell yeah, give me whatever that was. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> Whee! Oh, damn, nice. Uh oh, well, ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, we don't even have to jump on him, we can just kinda go for it. It is kinda messing with my eyes a little bit because this is very scrolly. Oh, well, okay. Oh, we lost there, though. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what the fuck that was supposed to do, but alright. Ah! Uh, oh, easy. Ah! <laughs> 
god. <laughs> oh my god. This is funny as hell. Oh, health and shit. Right, we've got a health meter. Ah! 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 Uh. Yeah. Ah. Fucking with my eyes a little bit, honestly. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Time for a battle, I guess. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, easy. Oh, I see. Ah! Eh, loser. Ah! Yeah, eat shit. Oh, no. Oh, oh, not that one, though. Probably don't want to... Oh, face tank that. Oh, interesting. Let's go right through it, huh? Oh, actually? Oh, no. Yeah, okay, that's right. No, 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 just... Uh. Oh, easy. You fucking, oh, you can psych me out there. Good job, buddy. Whoa. Ah, damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> I killed a bitch. Three and done? Of course it is. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Oh my god. What the hell? Alright, so Ruckton's got some unresolved issues with this octopus and this octopus, apparently. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? Seed is imbued with voodoo energy. Uh, all right, voodoo energy. <laughs> yeah, good, good, good hiding spot there, buddy. Thanks. Uh, all right. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, again, the little wibble wobble kind of ruins the moment here, Ruxton. Sorry. Funny as hell, though. Good job. Oh, come on. Like, really? Oh, so this would have been real... Ah, oh, come on, that would have been super funny if we had Jim jammed a little something out of him because we turned around and hit him. Like that. Oh, damn. Alright, whatever. Hey, can we, uh, oh yeah, we sure can. Oh, is there gonna be special shit? Oh yeah, we got some collectibles here. The hell is that? Don't know what that symbol is. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Jesus Christ. Oh my... Wait, whoa, 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 hold up, hold, hold up, what was that? Oh! What the he- oh, oh, okay, I see. Alright, so we got three of the four whatevers on the surfing bit. We missed that last one because we were fucking around too much. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> okay! What in the hell is going on here? This is Banjo Kazooie ass garbage. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Back to your own timeline? No, no, we're having too much fun here. In incredible. You're done with the place. Excuse me? Well, it's like the tiki shop or whatever. Oh, you're one of those. One of who? People always assume everything should be defined from their perspective. Come on, you cannot tell me you are not the shopkeeper. Fuck you, don't even try this, all right? You got the whole caged Eldritch Horror there, you got the money sink, the jukebox. Like, come on, don't even try this. <laughs> shop to me is the shop to me and that I would probably perceive the one from the real as the arcane shop or whatever, or whatever, I love it. Problem one visiting here, right? Uh, no? You reply at the name of your town when people take turns saying which country they come from. No. Because <laughs> people would have no idea where my town is. Fuck you, man. Hey, welcome to the shop. I'm glad it pleases your egocentric eye. <laughs> I just attuned your scroll to see the tropics. Yeah, I already did that. I already looked at the map, buddy. Like, who's assuming things now? A hole? Need anything? Oh, let's chat, I guess. Where are we? <clears throat> Boodkin Island. Enjoy the tropics and try not to harm the little woodkin too much. They're not evil. What do you mean? I'm gonna go rescue them, I think, right? Well, there's really something unique. Yeah? Well, what? Look, except long ago, our conversations wouldn't be the most engaging, but talking about the weather <laughs> is where I draw the line. Oh, that's really good. All right, how about a tropical story, then? Hell yeah. Does this area look like it's part of a tacked-on wannabe metroidvania to you? It sure as fuck does! Yes? No? Maybe I could tell you about the evil genie who would always corrupt the owner's wishes so that the one asking to fly could never land, and the one asking to know everything could never talk or write. Uh, that sounds like standard genie fare to me, honestly. <laughs> Maybe I could tell you about the little boy who always wanted to be a warrior became a sword swallower after hearing that we are what we eat. Ah, that's clever. I like that one. What? Oh, I know. Here's one. <laughs> This is a family of innkeepers operating their business in a world devoid of physical boundaries. See, the establishment had an endless amount of rooms to rent, and business was so good, each and every one of them was occupied. Wait, how does that track? That means infinite rooms and infinite occupants and infinite monies. I mean, that's a pretty fucking sick shtick they got going on, but still. <clears throat> still, new customers would keep coming in and be given a room right away. No, what do you mean, no vacancy? There's an infinite number of rooms, there's always vacancy. <laughs> Living in a boundless world comes with a few perks. Plus, even though all the rooms are occupied, the possibilities with them are as endless as the corridor they belong to. Wow, you know, I would hate to be the one that arrived late to that party. You would have to walk so far to get to your room. The new customer would always get room number one, and then have to ask the customer that was already there to move to room number two, and then ask you blah 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 blah. Okay, yeah, that tracks. It might take a few moments to wrap your head around this, but given the endless amount of rooms, there would always be an extra room to go to and ask the customer there to move over to the next one. Yeah, okay. Well, I was certainly bound to cause discomfort in an unfathomable amount of people. 
Fact still remained that every new customer would get a room even though there was no vacancy. Although, you would always be inhabiting a room that was already used, which is kind of gross and disgusting. I don't know if I like that. It's sort of neat, but also unsanitary. <clears throat> Speaking of neat, one can seldom imagine the housekeeping costs. Okay, yeah. The innkeeper family eventually determined that there needed to be some sort of boundaries. <laughs> Then to be manageable, the number of rooms had to be finite. They called this concept infinity. Come on. Come on, man. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. What the fuck? Fucking got baited into that setup. Damn it. Oh, you pulled a vast one on us. What a shit. Damn it. You can't do that to us! And eventually, the passage of time blurred the story as it does all things. Changing the word spelling to infinity and inverting its meaning. Oh, fucking god. Come on. The end. Except it's not the end, because it's infinity! It's infinite! Ah, son of a... <laughs> really? Really what? Really that's the end? <laughs> Uh, you know what I can't believe? That after all these stories, you still won't think past this- Oh, for fuck's sake. Simply not care, I just managed to teach you how it's actually possible to do infinity plus- fucks. Stop. Stop it. Stop. My drink is empty, I can't take this. You can't do this to us. Conceptualizing ensembles with properties capable of perpetual movement in a way a five-year-old would understand. I don't know, man. I don't think a, like a five-year-old would not have the ability to sit still for the payoff of that. Like, get out of here. <clears throat> Damn it. That was a really good story, though. Like, I can't even argue. Fucking hell. Such a good story that we're probably at the end for tonight. <laughs> In fact, we're at a very good spot to stop for now. Good gravy. What a fucking story, man. Kudos. Very well written. <laughs> but I guess we'll be continuing this on Wednesday since there's more content. So that's good. That's good. We got a little side. We got a beach episode to get to. So we'll continue this on Wednesday, I suppose. But that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Wednesday, 7 p.m. CDT. More of the messenger. We'll get to our beach episode, uh, and then Thursday night, 7:30 p.m. CDT, be Shmup Book Club. So a new Shmup for the month of May, plus Eskatos and Odon Pachi is still around. Uh, Friday we're off. Saturday, question mark p.m. CDT, usually early afternoon. We'll see if we do that this weekend or not. And then Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT, more long play, more Zero Ranger with White Vanilla Mode, Score Attack Mode. Be very fun. With that loot for tonight, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.